at this moment, I would like to call uh, Imam Amin al Silva for, uh, for the explanation of Ramadan so our brothers and sisters from other faith can understand what is Ramadan. First of all, fasting. We fast as a Muslim. Why? Tayyasum. And the Rasul said, Man Sama Ramadan Iman Wahisaban, Rufira Lahuma Takada and If you fast Ramadan, believing in Allah, and accepting the reward from Him, all the previous sin will be forgetting. So this last week I had an opportunity to raise the fact that the Bangladeshi flag along with the American flag. And so I am incredibly grateful for the Bangladeshi community um, for coming out and, and you know, joining us. I think um, uh, everyone here in city government who is participating from food, water, and these things to focus on something which is key and central in our lives, something which is most important, and just a sense of awakening for humanity, for those who are less fortunate, to gain nearness to the one who gave us life, the one who made us and created us, serving the creation. I believe it's a very beautiful uh, time. Keep these points in mind, inshallah, as we uh, head into the remaining uh, two-thirds of Ramadan, let us see how we can make this Ramadan a Ramadan of change and transformation, of spiritual upliftment. Uh, just a couple of things I want to share with you brothers and sisters here today. That, alhamdulillah, the mayor is doing the first ever, and this is historic, a five Boro Ramadan tour. No other mayor in New York City has ever done something like this. And he is starting here. This is the community that he has chosen. Right? With our brother Leon. So this is something very historic. So we want to be able to represent our community in the right way. In a couple of minutes, if not seconds, the mayor is going to walk in. But it's going to be quick in and out. He's a busy man. We're a busy city. And we hope you guys understand that. Those of you who don't know, has done for the Muslim community. Alhamdulillah, the mayor did the first ever supported uh, financially and everything when it comes to halal food in public schools. Did you know right now the mayor, one of his campaign products? The mayor was the first ever to start Jum'ah prayers in City Hall for the staffers. For me, Brother Mir, Brother Asim, we get to pray Jum'ah in City Hall every Friday. Never happened before. This is what the mayor has been supporting for the Muslim. Uh, just to explain to you again, it's going to be in and out. The mayor is going to come in. Brother Amir is going to introduce him, he's going to speak, we're going to give out four citations to four beautiful messages, and we leave. So just understand that, please, we wish we had more time, you could sit with us. The Mayor of New York City, Mayor Eric Adams. Our Brother Amir is the highest, highest, uh, best. Tonight, breaking it up with my Muslim community, I want, this is the first, has been a true leader, a friend, and an advocate for the Muslim community, for our needs. 
Just before the blessed, blessed month of Ramadan, Mayor Eric Adams held a media roundtable with the NYPD senior official here than any mayor had done in the past for their whole administration. Community, New York City, I want to express our gratitude to the Mayor Adams and his support for and I look forward to what we can accomplish together and continue calling. And I hope everyone has a blessed rest of the month of Ramadan. Now is my... Hey guys, Ramadan Mubarak. Um, I want to welcome our distinguished guest, Mr. Mayor. Harris. And our mayor has always been here for us and he was here right before the uh, election as well and he's here multiple times. And again, we want to see you more and more and we'd love to support you, we love you and we want to see you more here. Thank you very much and welcome. Assalamu alaikum. And I'm here with uh, my uh, commissioner, first Muslim commissioner of old, Asim Rahman. I'm here also with my commissioner of Mayor Office of Immigrant Affairs, uh, Commissioner Castro. And as you know, I'm here, please don't do that. I'm here with one of your own one of my most trusted administrative leaders of my uh, good brother, Mayor, from your community. Now, I, our relationship in the Muslim community goes so far back. We've been together for many years. I've been side by side with you through some of the most difficult moments in this city. If you go back and look at 2001, when many of our young people were being rounded up and arrested in Brooklyn, I stood in front of the federal penitentiary with the Muslim leaders to call for them to be released. We were there when women were attacked for wearing a hijab. We walked the streets together. We were there when Donald Trump wanted the Muslim ban. We had one of the largest protests at Brooklyn Borough Hall when I was Brooklyn Borough President. We could go on and on how long this relationship is. I am not a new friend, I'm an old friend. Yes. Yes. I'm an old friend. And as I move through Queens and I see the emerging of this community, you have found your foothold in, your, in this country. You've opened small businesses. You fought to get your children educated. When you came to me and stated that you wanted halal food in schools, we made it happen. A place for prayer, we made it happen. We continue to do the things that you stated was important. Now, be a devoted leader. Because the great prophet, Elijah Muhammad, was a doer. We cannot simply be in our houses of worship, our minds. That is what your faith calls you to do. We are seeing a large number of people who are dealing with homeless. You got your brothers and sisters coming from the continent of Africa who are Muslims, don't have a place to stay. Where are our Muslim brothers and sisters helping them? We are seeing people who are homeless in shelters. Where are our Muslim brothers and sisters? We can't only pray five times a day. After prayer, we have to live the life of the prophet. That is what Ramadan is about, the sacrifice. When you hold off from eating and drinking throughout the day because it's a reminder you do it during Ramadan, but people are without food and water and housing every day. That reminder is supposed to tell us when we come out to go and live the real life of the Prophet Muhammad. Yep. A million, million Muslims. Because when you vote, you empower yourself. You no longer have to wait on others to serve you. 
you have those who represent you serve you. Women should be re registered. Every man should be registered. As you grow in population in the Bronx, so you can have great leaders. And I saw my sister, Councilwoman Farias, where is she? She's, come on up, Councilwoman. As you break fast, let's also break the things that are destroying our community. And I cannot thank you enough for your support. And I stated I was going to be with you when I ran for office. And I'm here with you now that I'm in office. Yeah. And that is the type of leader you want. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Look at the camera. Islamic Center. North Bronx Islamic Center.